tank. He's also a professor at Mount Royal University in Canada. Well, let's get more from the BBC Arabic, Saeed Shahata. Saeed, we've just been hearing in the, the past uh, few hours that announcement from the Israeli military urging civilians to move south uh, in the Gaza Strip, also saying that humanitarian operations will be expanding. What do you make of this? Do you think that civilians will really listen to what the Israeli military is saying in this instance? I think when they see expanding the aid operations, because first they moved and then they found out it's not like uh, there's not enough aid. So some of them return it back to the north. So in order to convince them again, uh, so they should see by their eyes. There is real news on the ground. There is some expanding and there is talks between U.S., Egypt and Israel about that, to expanding that because there is pressure, because people like suffering and hospitals, especially the talk about fuel. I think the fuel is a very important thing for the hospital to, to make it work. So fuel besides the food and medicine. I mean, it's difficult with the fuel, isn't it? Because we've heard many aid groups from civilians themselves saying that because of a lack of fuel, it's very difficult for them to move anywhere within the Gaza within Gaza at the moment. We're hearing that communication lines are being re-established. Uh, what, are, what are you uh, seeing and, and, and hearing? Uh, we've got some stories from some people from Gaza talking about the connectivity is back. They can talk over the phone. Where there are stories, they talk about still strikes going on, still they're facing problems. So the daily problems they face since 7th of October is still there. So we got the news. It's a good news that we we'll connect with them. And the good news for the aid agencies, especially the Red Cross and the ambulances, to go there. Uh, because uh, when, when yesterday it was very hard to go there because the ambulance cannot like be reached. So it is good news uh, for uh, people there and for uh, the Humanitarian organizations. Saeed, thank you for, for talking to with us. That was a BBC Arabic Saeed Shahat.